It's Thursday, May 4th. I'm Sarah Fragani with Kids 5 News Now. A school bus was stolen and was found on the opposite side of town overnight. East Central ISD confirmed it is one of their buses, saying their transportation hub was broken into overnight and the bus was found on the city's west side. Now, they added no one was hurt and it's not affecting any other bus routes today. And they also said it appears a car, possibly belonging to the suspect, was found abandoned at the transportation hub. No word on any suspect suspects at this time. The week's long search for the suspect in a deadly shooting near a taco truck has ended. Police arrested 32 year old Roland Contreras Jr. This is an update to a story we have followed since the shooting April 6. Police say Contreras was near a food truck on Southwest Military when he got into an argument with a man and started shooting. A bullet hit the man's Jeep where his wife was sitting and killed her. Contreras was booked on a $200,000 bond. San Antonio City Council will meet today to vote on a tenant bill of rights resolution. Nearly half of San Antonio residents are renters and this could impact them. Advocates for the resolution say it will promote the rights tenants already have and reaffirm the city's commitment to fair housing practices. According to a study from Texas Housers in 2022, 625,000 renters live in San Antonio with the average price of rent coming out to about 1,024. Now, if fast revisions to the city's notice of tenants' rights will also be approved. While the resolution cannot change existing laws or implement new ones, advocates say this will remind residents of the rights they do have. Kens 5 has obtained up close video where San Antonio police shot a man moments before he was hit. SAPD says he had his mom in a chokehold and a knife to her throat. The dramatic moments unfolded late Wednesday afternoon as kids were getting home from school. It happened near a playground at a northeast side apartment complex on Fairdale Drive near 410 and I-35. San Antonio police say a man in his 30s was assaulting his mom, sister and girlfriend inside an apartment before running outside. Police say the man was in the parking lot getting chased by officers and as the suspect's mother was trying to talk to him there, police say he began attacking her. Grabbed the mom by the, by the, around the throat and put a knife up to her throat. SAPD Chief William McManus there saying an officer came from behind and shot the man in the thigh. That officer is on administrative duty department protocol and the suspect is expected to recover. A former cheer coach is pleading no contest to sex assault. Robert Katara was arrested in 2020 and was charged with sexually assaulting a 16 year old girl. He faces up to 12 years behind bars, but his defense attorney is now asking for two years probation. Either way, Katara will have to register as a sex offender. A family is furious after a longtime rider with special needs was refused via pickup over an ID card. Hugo Gonzalez rides a paratransit bus to and from his adult daycare, and he, is, he has Down syndrome. The service gave him freedom and independence until last week. If he doesn't have his GID, I can't take him. When did that start? Yesterday. And he Why did Daddy want it for me? Hugo's brother David caught the whole thing on his ring camera. The driver refused Hugo because of a missing ID card. David told us a staff member at that adult daycare that Hugo informed him about 20 other riders being refused pickup last week. He's hoping VIA amends the rule or creates a backup plan. Hopefully they, they start making some changes that won't, uh, I guess, break their hearts. <laughs> A Viatrans spokesperson said for safety, Viatrans customers are required to show their ID card or another form of official identification when boarding. And the added operators will remind passengers to carry their Viatrans ID from now on. The Federal Reserve pushed interest rates to their highest since 2007. This raises its benchmark rate to a range between 5% and 5.25%. The rising cost of borrowing money has already contributed to the failure of three major banks in the past two months. It's also driving down home sales by nearly 20%. According to the Fed, it is a balancing act of promoting jobs and trying to stabilize prices for Americans. Meanwhile, the Treasury Secretary says the U.S. could run out of money to pay its own debt as soon as June 1st. The San Antonio Zoo now faces a million dollar lawsuit after a large tree limb came down crashing on a family back in March. 
Crystal and Lebrado Rodriguez have filed the lawsuit over the injuries their two children suffered. According to that suit, the branch that fell weighed up to 2,000 pounds and caused some pretty serious injuries to the couple's daughter. The suit also alleges gross negligence and claims the incident will have long-lasting effects on the entire family. Now, in response to that lawsuit, the zoo's legal counsel said in part, quote, this was an unfortunate accident that was not caused by any action or inaction by San Antonio Zoo or its employees, and we look forward to demonstrating that through the legal process, end quote. Next year, paper tickets are returning to the King William Fair. This after complaints from San Antonians across the city saying they had problems using the blast pass wristbands during this year's Fiesta event. So people took to social media complaining the wristbands were not loading up money they paid for to buy food and drinks. Some people said their credits didn't even show up until one day after the fair was over. King William Fair officials released a statement taking responsibility for all the issues with the blast pass and they also apologized to fairgoers, vendors and volunteers and confirmed paper tickets will be back next year. I want to check in with meteorologist Paul Morales for today's forecast. All right, Sarah, we've got clouds to start off today. We will see a little sunshine, I think, later on. High temperatures 85, so a warm day. And then this evening, especially after about 7 or 8 o'clock, we've got a chance for some thunderstorms, just a 30% chance. But any storm that moves through this evening could be severe. Thank you, Paul. And that's Kins 5 News Now. I'm Sarah Forgani.